Hey, look, I found an iPod. <laughs> it's smashed beyond repair. What are you gonna do with it? What else? Sell it on eBay, it's slightly used. <laughs> it was Penny's boyfriends, they broke up. Apparently he posted intimate details of their physical relationship on his blog, which I cannot find anywhere. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna go back and try talking to her again. Good idea. Sit with her, hold her, comfort her. And if the moment feels right, see if you can cop a feel. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, Howard. I'm not aware of any social convention that requires you to intervene at all. What about damsel in distress? 12th century code of chivalry? Not exactly current. <laughs> You'd also have to be knighted for that to apply. <laughs> I don't care. She's upset. I'm going over there. Remember to sit on your hands a bit so they're warm. <laughs> I'm her friend. I'm not going to take advantage of her vulnerability. So you're saying if in the depths of despair she throws herself at you and demands you take her right there, right now, you'll just walk away? I said I'm her friend, not her gay friend. <laughs> Listen, I know you said that you didn't want to talk. I, I thought, don't. Okay, sorry. Wait. Wait, did you say wait? Tell me the truth. Am I just an idiot who picks giant losers? No, no. Okay. So I pick good guys, but turn them into losers. Of course not. Well, it's gotta be one or the other. Which is it? I'm sorry, what were the choices again? I really thought Mike was different. I thought he was sensitive and smart. I mean, not you smart, normal, non-freaky smart. Yeah, no, sure. You know, and then he just goes and has to humiliate me by writing about me on his blog so the entire world can read it. I tell you, it's not all that easy to find. Yeah, really? What? My friends at work found it, my sister found it, judging by my email, a number of prisoners at the Michigan State Penitentiary found it. Okay, well, what exactly did this guy write? Though not that I need to know the details of your sex life. I just thought, never mind. No, you know what? Might as well read it. Everybody else has. Good. Oh, God, I just feel so betrayed and embarrassed. Just want to crawl into a hole and die. <laughs> Okay, well, you know, this isn't that bad. It, it, it just paints the picture of a very affectionate woman who's open to expressing her affection in non-traditional locales. Oh, God. Elevators, parks, movie theaters. Out of curiosity, is this subway the transportation system or subway the sandwich shop? Sandwich shop. Doesn't that violate the health code? No, at the sub shop, we were only making out. Ah, uh, okay. But my, my point is that uh, you have absolutely no reason to be embarrassed. Really? Do you think I overreacted? Maybe a little. Because I do that. I do overreact. Maybe I should call Mike and apologize. No, no, no. That, that would be underreacting. <laughs> he did break the implied confidentiality of the bedroom, and in your case, the elevator, parks, and fast food franchise. <laughs> You're right. I should just say I am done with him. Yes, you should. Go ahead, say it. But I never gave the man a chance to explain. What is there to explain? It's all right here, but betrayal. No, you were right the first time. This is a man who loves me, but in his own stupid way was just trying to show people how he feels. I'm pretty sure I never said that. No, you did better than that. You helped me see it on my own. Oh, good for me. Where are you going? I'm going over to Mike's. Leonard, thank you so much. Oh, sure. Huh, maybe I am her gay friend. 